Hello everyone and welcome to the Halo Drone video tutorial series. We will help guide you to get up and flying as quickly and safely as possible. In this first episode, we are going to go over the basics of pairing your remote control, watch remote, follow module, and Halo Drone all together. A quick note, if you have the Halo Drone Pro model with both remotes, you can only pair a single remote at a time. Out of the box, the main flight controller should be paired. You can easily check this by turning both the remote control and the drone on. If they are paired, the indicator light on the remote control will turn green. If it isn't paired, it will remain red. So, let's get started. We'll go over pairing the main flight controller first. Before you begin, be safe and make sure the propellers have been removed from your Halo drone and everything is powered off. To connect the remote, you need to activate binding mode on the Halo drone. To do this, simply flip the Halo drone upside down and power it on. The yellow indicator lights on the front will blink in sets of three to indicate that binding mode is active. Now, to pair the remote. To activate the binding mode, hold down the return to home button and power on the remote as you normally would. The status light on the remote will blink red and then turn green once it pairs with the drone. Once paired, you can go ahead and flip the craft right side up and you're good to go. Let's go over pairing the sports watch remote now. Just as we did before, make sure everything is powered off. Then set the Halo drone into binding mode by flipping it upside down and powering it on. Once the lights are flashing in intervals of three, take the sports watch remote and power it on. Toggle right on the joystick to enter the options menu. Navigate down to the setup option and press down on the joystick to select it. Go to the bind option and select that. The watch should now be in binding mode and will automatically pair to the drone. Once it is complete, the watch will return to the previous screen. Navigate back to the main menu. If you are paired, the drone icon in the top right of the screen will be solid or blinking. If you are not paired, the icon will just be an outline. Now that you're paired, you can go ahead and flip the craft right side up again. Last but not least, let's pair the follow module. Again, the follow module can only be paired with a single remote at a time and should be paired only after your remote of choice has been paired to the drone. Start by powering on the follow module. Once it is on, activate binding mode by pressing the power button six times. The blue status LED will flash in sets of three to indicate binding mode is active. Now grab your remote controller watch and activate binding mode by following the same steps that we used earlier. Once paired, the flashing blue light on the follow module will turn solid. Make note that on the main remote control, the indicator light will go from flashing red to solid red once paired. The light only turns green to indicate a connection to the drone when it's powered on. On the watch remote, the follow module icon will be blinking or solid white to indicate the follow module is paired. If it is not paired, the icon will only be an outline. And there you have it. You're paired up to your gear and you're ready to start flying. Check out our next video in the tutorial series to connect to the app and take off. And always remember, fly safe, be aware, and follow your local, state, and federal laws and regulations.